You can build a jar like this in about 20 minutes and you don't have to spend a lot of money for it. I am clumsy as hell, so if I can do it, you can do it better. The first thing you need is a jar, I bet you didn't expect that. And this is also the only thing you need to buy. You can collect soil in your garden, park or forest. Spray it with rainwater until it sticks to your spoon or shovel. If the soil falls off, it's not wet enough. Here it sticks enough. For the next step you have to put the jar on its side. Put something against it so it doesn't roll away. Just apply the soil and press hard so it sticks. And yes, you will make a mess. At least I did. But you can clean that up later. Make sure you leave enough space in the bottom. This is where the water will come later. Don't mind me, just a grown man playing with some dirt. This part is important. Once you're done, put the jar upright to see if everything sticks. I'm putting in some rocks to give the jar an extra touch. Press them in hard, that's what she said. Also make sure the rocks are not too heavy. If they are, they could take down the whole wall. I learned this the hard way. After the wall is finished, you can start adding the moss. You can just collect it in your garden or in a forest or a park, so you don't have to buy anything. Just don't take everything, so the moss has a chance to recover. This is just me again, adding moss into a terrarium. I feel like I don't do anything else in these videos. I didn't notice this big hair from my cat. Don't worry, I didn't put her in the jar. Even though cats are liquid, I don't think she would like it very much. With that being said, I'm not adding any animals in this terrarium. If I did, they would fall in the water and, you know, die. Adding the moss in the back isn't always easy by hand. That is why it's easier to use tweezers. You can order these very cheap online. Again, just make sure you press on the moss very hard so it doesn't fall off. I know this is highly entertaining footage of me adding moss. <coughs> But I will speed it up anyway. If you're bored, you could scroll down and press the like button or leave a comment. But please don't leave, I need watch hours. I'm desperate. Thanks. Again, when you're done, set the jar upright. If nothing falls, you're good. This is how the jar looks from the front, so far. We still have to add the water part. First I'm adding some stones. They don't really have a function, but they will make the water part look better in my opinion. Same for these bigger rocks. The jar so far. Adding water. This is rainwater. Moss can't handle tap water that well. I'm sorry if you have to pee now. I might add some water fleece later. But the jar is too small to support anything bigger. Last step is to put on the lid. But don't click off, I'm still gonna show off the terrarium. Whoa, amazing. No, I know it's nothing special, but I think it's pretty cool for something you can build in 20 minutes. And almost for free. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. If you want to know how close the ramps like this one, that has almost been sealed for 2 years, work. Watch this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.